welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. This is Vlogmas video number three. Um, this video is going to be a little different and it's obviously not going to apply to everybody, but I just want to have this video on my channel for anyone out there who is looking for a little help on um, their decision to become a personal trainer or what program they should do or which one they should buy. Um, so I just want this video on my channel for people like that. So if you don't watch it, I completely understand, but if you are watching this and are becoming or thinking of becoming a trainer, um, all I have to say is do it, you will make it, and it is the best feeling in the world passing that exam. Um, I am 19 years old and I am a certified personal trainer through the American Council on Exercise and that is who I'm going to be showing you my little tips and tricks. Um, I have 15 tips and tricks to share with you guys. I do have my little cheat sheet sitting down here just because I cannot keep 15 tips and tricks on top of my head. But um, um, I am going to start off with just like a few questions that I think people would have and just a little bit of information on the entire thing and then I will get into my tips and tricks. So before I um, purchased my personal trainer's certification or my personal trainer's program, I went back and forth like for six to eight months before I finally just decided to do it. Uh, I bought my program on February 28th of 2019 and I became certified six months to the day after on August 28th, 2019. I just was not sure what I wanted to do. I knew that fitness was my thing. I knew that I'm a very outgoing person and I love people and I love to help people. So I definitely just wanted my life to be around fitness and people. So I decided to become a trainer and it is like my greatest blessing. But um, I wasn't quite sure when I first started like thinking about becoming a trainer, I had no idea who I wanted to go through. I honestly didn't even know who, like I didn't even know nothing. So I got on YouTube and I just started typing in personal trainer certifications and that is how I came across some of the people that I do follow on YouTube now. But it's also just a way that I did my research. I looked on Google, I did research about ACE, I did research about NASM and then kind of compared the two, like I said, watched videos and at the end of the day I decided that ACE was definitely for me and um, I completely, 10 out of 10, recommend ACE. It was amazing. It is so organized. They give you so much material. I just loved it. So if you're kind of torn, obviously I don't want to say anything about NASM because I don't know NASM since I never did it through them. But just like comparing the two and looking at the two, ACE to me was just more clean cut, very simple looking. Um, NASM would always put like, oh, 30% off, 40% off, this and that, and it was just so too much to take in. And ACE was just very simple, and that is why I chose them. Um, so like I said, it did take me six months total, and that's the time limit that you're allowed to have. Um, so the day that you purchased your program, you get six months to the day to schedule and take your exam. Um, so I paid, I got the highest one you can get. It is the um, program, like the ACE program plus. So you can get the basic or the plus. And I decided if I was gonna do this, I might as well just do the plus. So that is what I did and I will show you guys everything that I got when I purchased the Plus. Um, like I said, I pur purchased that on like February 28th and all my stuff came in within like a week and a half later so the shipping was pretty fast so that was helpful because I had six months to chop chop. So um, I had to get to moving. But 
I got the Study Companion book. This is not a very thick. This book is um, a lot of like tiny quizzes after each section. And in this, there are 26 total lessons. So after like each lesson or each little like section too that they have, they give you a little quiz to take, which I'm going to be honest, I did not use this book very often. Um, yeah, maybe five, six times. I did a couple quizzes, but this was just not my main focus. I didn't think this was extremely important, um, but everyone's different. If you would do this or if you're watching this and you became a trainer through ACE and this book was like a savior to you, um, that is good for you, but it just wasn't, wasn't my thing at all. But um, yeah, so study companion book is one thing that you get. The next one is the essentials of exercise science. Now this one, on the other hand, I did use quite a bit um there's definitely a lot of highlighting in here this is more like movements muscles bones how every system in your body works so obviously i did spend a good amount of time in this because i needed to know all of this so essentials let me see essentials to exercise science and then the last book is this big guy um when this box got shipped to my house, it was so heavy and I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? But like I said, it, it turned out to be wonderful. So this is the personal trainer manual. This is the one that you will use the entire process. I mean, this is literally your best friend and it needs to pretty much stay on your hip at all times. Obviously, if you can tell all my um, sticky notes on there, I am a very like visual learner and I have to have notes to remind me. Um, so that is why all my sticky notes are on there. But that is the last book that you get is the personal trainer manual. And it is nice and big and filled with so much information. And then also, this isn't, the exact thing that it had because now that I am certified my entire like little uh, web page changed and now I have to do like my credit hours but before it would literally show those books directly on my phone and this is great if you're extremely computer savvy or even the six months that I was taking my um, or studying for my program I went on vacation like three or four times and obviously one of the times I couldn't take all three of my books so all I took was my laptop and my phone and I did all my work online um, so that was a really easy way and that's so helpful to be able to have it right in your hand or to have it in a book form um, I myself used it in the book form the most because like I said I'm a visual learner and I have to be able to touch it and highlight things and just look at it so that's what helped me the most but if you love everything techie um, the online is definitely for you I'm not sure if you purchase the basic if you get the online and books I'm not quite sure um, so but yeah I have the plus and this is what they provide you with and it is amazing. So I am going to share with you guys my 15 um, most helpful tips and tricks that worked for me the best. Obviously we're all different so some of these might not be like as helpful for you but some of us are a lot alike so um, this might also be helpful for you. My first one is Focus on the things that they tend to repeat. Um, in the book, I'll just show you what an example. But in this book, they give you like key concepts, do the math, and apply what you know. And let me just, right here is a good example of that. Right there is a key concept. So after you read a good bit of information or important information, they always do a key concept and it just kind of summarizes it down into 
the simplest form but like the form that will still help you I guess. I read over those I can't even tell you guys how many times just because I wanted to make sure that it was like embedded in my brain. So definitely read those and always do the little do the math sections because those are just good practice to hurry up and knock them out and make sure that when you do it on the exam, um, you pass it and it's not something dumb that you miss. And because every point counts on that exam, guys, um, it's very nerve wracking in the exam room knowing, oh my gosh, I don't want to miss no stupid question when I know so much. So that is my tip number one, focus on the things that they tend to repeat a lot. Um, rapport is a really, really, really big section that they tend to gravitate to in every situation. No matter what they're talking about, they kind of always like go back to rapport because rapport is so important. If you don't know, rapport is like the um, relationship that you uh, create with a client and at the end of the day that is the most important thing you won't ever find anything out more about the client if you don't form that rapport first so my tip number two is watch the videos they provide for you um on the actual like study part they always give you videos to watch throughout the thing do not skip over those you guys they are so important and I always made sure that I watched everyone. And again, I'm a visual learner, so the videos really did help me. My third tip is they have a yoga section. Do not focus on that as much as you should focus on other things. It was actually not even on my exam at all. I did not get one yoga question, but in the actual like textbook, they literally give you like 40 different types of yoga oh my gosh that was the hardest part of the like study part and I like I said I really had no idea this is my first time doing this and that was definitely extremely difficult and then when I got into my exam and started like taking the test I realized I didn't get no questions about yoga so I was just so relieved when I didn't have any questions about that because I really knew nothing I didn't even really take the time to focus on that too much I didn't really care if it was on the exam or not I wanted to make sure that I was passing things that I knew a hundred percent that I was going to need once I became a trainer so that leads me to tip number four Know your muscles, um, know your ratings of perceived excursion, um, know how to apply a program to somebody, know the difference on between the people and know how to help this person versus this person. Um, yeah, I that is just like the most important thing I would say. Obviously, you need to know every freaking muscle in your body when you're becoming a trainer and because that's what you're doing every day. You are helping people with their muscles. You are helping them work out. So you need to know a lot and I'm still learning. I'm not saying that I know every single little muscle in the body because I don't. And I mean, I'll be working out at my gym up in North Canton and the trainer there, he will ask me questions and there's still times I don't know everything. And it is discouraging at times that I feel like oh my gosh, how am I going to help somebody if I don't know every single muscle in the body or how do, how am I going to help them if I don't know what this muscle does versus this muscle. I mean, it is a lot to take in at one time. Um, so yeah, definitely know all that and that kind of leads into the very first tip that I said. Focus on the things that they repeat. If it's important, they will repeat it. And my... Tip number five is make a timeline for yourself. ACE does give you a syllabus to kind of plan out your weeks. Um, like they'll say on week one, you should get this many lessons done. On week two, you should have this many done by now. Three, so on and so forth. So um, that really helped. I like to make my own timeline. That worked best for me. So 
that is how I got done within my six months because I knew that I had to time it out because if it was up to me I probably would have taken like a, or taken sorry um, I would have taken a year to probably do it but I had six months so I had to bust it out and make myself a timeline and it was honestly not that bad once I had my timeline down and set my tip number six is highlight key points in the book um let me just obviously you guys see all my sticky notes but i have everything highlighted um the whole book i pretty well have highlighted just because um again visual learner helps me be able to go back and those are things that before my like actual exam in august i went back and mm, read those highlighted parts and made sure I know what they're talking about and if it asks me on the exam I will know the right answer so I can pass it. Um, my tip number seven is like taking quizzes. I bought a quiz off of test.com. Um, I think it was $29.99 or something like that. At that point I didn't care. I just wanted to make sure that I passed this and did not have to redo it. So um, I will link the um, website down below so you guys can look at that if you are kind of thinking of becoming a personal trainer or if you need help if you're already currently becoming one. So what the test.com is, is it's a ginormous like quiz, test, whatever you want to call it, on all questions that have previously been on an ACE personal trainer exam. Um, obviously not promise that it's going to be on your exam, but um, they obviously are all questions that have been on it before, so it kind of helps you a little bit to see how they word things. Um, so yes. That is what I bought. Test.com will be linked below. Number eight is book your exam and your CPR class about a month prior to your end date. Just so you know that you have everything that you need and just so your exam is so important to book like about three to four weeks prior to the date that it has to be done. Just because... Um, you need to be able to plan out your time and I think I booked my exam about a month before I took it and it was nice to be able to know okay I have one month left to do this and that and that and whatever else I had to do and then I took my CPR class about two weeks before I ended but I knew that was going to be pretty easy and it was only a two hour class so yeah I took that two weeks before my exam and booked my exam a month before. My tip number nine is make flashcards. I lived off flashcards towards the end of my entire study program. Um, flashcards helped me so much. They were easy to just be able to lay in bed and run through them real quick. My like biggest tip is if you're watching a show every commercial break go through your flashcards until the show comes back on um during my studying american idol was on and i would literally just flip through my things as the commercials came on and then when american idol came back on i put my cards down and picked them back up when the next commercial came on and that was just a really good way on helping me to um, do my flashcards because I would get extremely bored with doing my flashcards so if I knew I, I had to find a way to make myself do them and that is what really helped me. Um, my tip number 10 is learn how ace words things. Um, they do along with <laughs> even when I was in high school I had to learn the way that people worded things. Ace does word things very differently. It's almost like they try to trick you sometimes. Um, like 
on the exam there were questions that I looked back on and got wrong because of the way they worded it and it kind of was like a trick question in a way so that was a big thing that I made sure that I did when I took my test on my test.com that I purchased I went through those freaking questions four five hundred times to make sure that I knew how Ace worded things and that ended up being a huge help for me. Um, my tip number 11, I already kind of said this, no rapport like the back of your hand. Literally, it is so important to know rapport when you're a personal trainer and I promise you Ace will not let you forget it. You have to know it, like I said, like the back of your hand. So make sure you study the hell out of rapport. Number 12, this is um, just a little motivation one. Things will get hard. It is so hard to teach yourself how to like make a timeline or a planned schedule on what to do um it is very difficult i did mine throughout the summer kind of and it was definitely difficult to convince myself kylie go in and study for a couple hours and not sit at the pool you know what i mean so it was extremely hard to do that but things will get hard keep going do not stop i promise you it is so worth it in the end um you just have to push through <laughs> the hard times it there it was definitely it was definitely like a life like changing situation um so i knew that's what i needed to do and i was very discouraged a lot i cried nor like towards the end a lot so but i got through it and i thankfully had the best support system behind me pushing me kylie you will do it like you will be fine so yeah just keep going i promise it's not as bad and once you are certified it's the best feeling in the world um my tip number 13 is reread things a hundred times if you have to like i said um i reread the key concepts probably a hundred times before I moved on just so that I knew I knew it and I wanted to make sure that I understood every single little part of what they were telling me um number 14 is research if you still need information if you feel like ace isn't giving you as much as you need go and research I Although I had all of these books and everything online, I still used Google every now and again just to kind of get some more information and maybe read it in a different way so I could understand it a little better because there were things I was like, I am just not getting this and I was really frustrated at some points. So I just hopped right on Google, hopped right on YouTube and just kind of looked things up and that was such a huge help for me for things that I didn't necessarily understand the first time or that I didn't understand the way that Ace was kind of putting it out for me. And my last, last, last tip is always take the quizzes at the end of the lesson. They give you... Um, a quiz at the end of each lesson and then at the very end in lesson 26 they do give you um quiz number one like a practice test and practice test number two and i took those more than a few times even the normal quizzes if i didn't pass them the first time around i would keep taking them till i passed them i didn't really care i just wanted the practice and i just wanted to know that i knew what everything was so that was definitely a big thing that helped me um i'm not sure that you're actually even allowed to go on to the next lesson if you didn't take the quiz so i that tip might be kind of i don't know i think they might make you take the quiz before you can move on i don't know it's been a long time since i have done it i feel like i mean it's only been like five months but oh my gosh it feels like a lifetime ago that i got certified so those are my 15 um 
major tips that helped me the most. Um, like I said, we are all different, so some of these tips might not work as well for you as they did for me, but it is totally worth the shot, and if you are becoming a personal trainer or thinking of it, um, do it. Just do it. It's always, it's just something good to have under your belt in case um, I still work full time not being a trainer. Um, if you watch my first video, I do work full time in the oil field, but I train clients here and there. I have um, two clients that they're a couple and I train them every Tuesday and every Friday morning and I absolutely love it. I teach a fitness class at the YMCA as well and I love that also and it's just something so good to have under my belt being so young. I am getting paid for a full-time job, but I always like the extra money from another second job, and a, being a trainer right now is definitely um, a little bit of help of getting that second income. So yeah, helping people and getting to do what I love every day, fitness, is amazing. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this video um, helpful. And like I said, if you have any more questions, you can comment down below. I'm willing to answer all of them. I've been through it all. So I probably will have an answer to any question. But like I said, keep going. You will pass it. And at the end of that exam, when it says you passed, it is the best feeling in the world. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. After this, you guys have nine videos left, or 10 videos. Yeah, yeah, nine videos left of um, Vlogmas, yeah. I don't know why, my math, I feel like my math is wrong. I, I Recording these kind of just get me all messed up, but nine videos left of Vlogmas, hit the bell notification so you guys get notified when I post a video and follow me on Instagram right here. And I hope you guys have a great day and Merry Christmas. 11 days, 11 days until Christmas. And then Santa comes and I get to spend time with my family and so do you guys and we get to eat good food. And yeah, thank you for watching.